Hi everyone, I'm Clem and welcome back to my channel. First of all, sorry for my voice, but I'm sick for more than a week now and I have a sore throat, so I have a broken voice now, but everything's going to be fine. So in March, I plan on reading five different books. Um, it's the month of my birthday, uh, so I'm really happy. I love March, but it's also the month of my mom's birthday and my sister's birthday, but also one of my two best friends' birthday. So March is a really busy month, but also it's going to be a busy month because at the beginning of March, I have my theater play. I'm going to play the, the play we've been uh, rehearsing for more than six months, so I'm pretty excited. And I also have my dissertation to work on, so I was planning at first to read six books uh, in March, but I revised my TBR Dawn Award because, let's be honest, I'm never going to get to read six books, or if I do, I'm going to be super proud and it's going to be something amazing, but I just have uh, five books and one graphic novel, like one graphic novel included. So the first book I plan on reading is the volume two of Lumberjanes. Uh, so this is a very short graphic novel. I've read the first book in January. I loved it. It's about this group of five girlfriends and they're in a summer camp. But actually a lot of supernatural and weird things are happening around her and they are like confronted to it, but they don't really know what's happening. It's like when you read it, they don't see it or they don't realize how weird it is. Um, and at the end of the first book, um, the ending was really like a plot twist, not a plot twist, a cliffhanger. And I really want to know what's going to happen. So I feel like I'm going to read this on Sunday, like tomorrow. And I'm just going to read it in one sitting and then I will buy the rest because I really love this series so far. This month audiobooks is going to be a very large um, Expense at the Sea by Tara Mafi. So um, this book is actually really short. I think it's like five or six hours on script, on script. Um, so it's perfect for the month. Like I can read it, like listen to it while I'm going to school. So I can't wait to start it. And at first I thought it was something uh, like a fantasy or something like that, but actually it sounds way better than what I thought. So uh, this book is happening just after the 9-11 uh, terrorist attacks in New York. And you're following the character of Shinrin, I think it's how you say it. And Shinrin is a Muslim girl and she wears the hijab. And so at that time, she was, um, the um, Muslim people were harassed in the street. And Shinrin is harassed at school, but also in the street and everywhere because of who she is and what she believes in. And so she's kind of built a wall around her to protect herself. But one day she meets um, Ocean James and Ocean James really wants to know her, but she's really stressed because she doesn't know how to act and what her is intention. So she doesn't really know how she's going to deal with it. And that's pretty much everything, like all I know about this book. I'm very intrigued and I like reading about the 9-11 because it's something that really marked me when I was a kid. I don't precisely remember the 9-11, but... Um, my teacher is like, and at school, I've been talking about the 9-11 like throughout all my school years and it's really that's some, really something that marked me and I watched a lot of movies on the 9-11, so I can't wait to read this book. Next book I want to read is actually Prisoner of Night and Fog and this is one of the books I plan on reading like this year, you know, I have a list of 10 books I really need to read this year. I'm going to put the video here if you want to go see all the books I have to read this year. So this book is an historical fiction and you're following Gretchen and Gretchen is actually the niece of Hitler. So it's happening in the 1930s during the all uh, Nazi like rising and everything that went like down to hell. But Gretchen, so it was raised um, with the Nazi uh, ideology and she thinks that it's good. But one day she meets, uh, what's his name again? Daniel and Daniel is a Jewish martyr and that's all I know about it and that's pretty much everything that it says uh, on the back of the book but I feel like you can pretty much feel what's going to happen like Gretchen is going to be like to have to make a choice between what she thought was true and the Jewish people like 
I feel like it's a bit like uh, Jojo Rabbit that just came out, like uh, the movie, if you have seen it. I haven't seen it, but I've watched the trailer and I think it's pretty similar to this. Um, I have had this book for like three years on my shelves. I still haven't read it, though I really want to read it because I like um, also read about the Second World War and... I don't know, I feel like it's interesting to always um, have a perception of a Nazi meeting a Jewish. I, I can't wait to see how this is going to be and what the story is actually going to be. Next, I plan on reading Enchanté by Gina Trellis because this is my book club book uh, for April. So um, this book is happening during the French Revolution in Paris and you're following Camille. And Camille is 17 and she has a brother. And pretty much they managed to survive to the revolution using their magic. But I feel, if I remember well, magic is not well seen in this world. Um, oh no, Camille has to go to the court of Louis XVI and, to Ma and with Marie Antoinette. Yes, using magic, Camille transforms herself in a glamorous baroness. But as she is swept up into dazzling... Diz Dizzying world of riches and finery, suitors and revolutionaries, Camille soon discovers that she's not the only one leading a, leading a double life. Since this book came out, I wanted to read it and thank God it was accepted by my book club, so it gives me a reason to read it. Um, it sounds really amazing. Once again, French Revolution is something I want to read more about, so it is perfect. <laughs> And last but not least, I'm going to start the month by reading uh, The Guinea Vera's Deception by Kirsten White. This book is a retelling of the Arthurian legends. And in this one, you're following Guinea And Guinea actually, in this one, is a changeling, which means she can change her appearance, but also who she is, like, truly. And she was sent to Camelot to protect the King Arthur and to be sure that everything was going fine for him, that he was going to be king and that everything was going to happen just like it was said. And pretty much that's all I feel it's about and all I know. Um, this book sounds amazing. I love Arthurian legends. Um, I just started a class about Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table with my kids, like my students. So you see, I'm really into it. So I can't wait to read this because I will be reading this at the same time as we studying Arthur. So yes, it's perfect and I can't wait. Okay, everyone, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, don't forget to subscribe to be notified when I post new video. And we're almost at 300 subscribers. I would love to reach 300 subscribers for my birthday and it's the 14th of March. So if you want to make me do me a present then you can do that uh, also like this video if you did tell me in the comments down below what you plan on reading this month i would love to know and i will see you next time bye guys